Hi, I'm Sarah. This is Hardcover Hearts. This is my best of 2023 classics edition. So I read a fair number of classics, classic literature, as, as uh, one might say, and I wanted to highlight some of the best from last year. So let's get started. The first book that I want to talk about, I adored, but I don't adore it in this, in, in this copy, in this edition. Uh, although it's such a beautiful Virago modern classic edition of Dear Book by Harriet Martineau. Uh, this was my first Harriet Martineau, and I know this is one of my friend Leo of Leo's Little Book Life. This is one of his favorite Victorian novels ever, and I get why. Um, what I don't like about this one is, oh my God, the writing is so tiny. You see all this margin space. Uh, I couldn't read it, so I had to download it on my Kindle. Luckily, the copyright is expired, and so you can get uh, fairly easy copies um, that you can adjust the font <laughs> and actually read it. So this is the story of two sisters, of Harriet and Margaret, and they are orphaned as young adult women, but they are not yet married. They're at that age where they're ready to be married. And uh, they come to live with their cousins that they really don't know. Their cousins have taken them in and uh, become kind of town uh, cause celeb because they have these two young, beautiful girls who have come to live with them. And in this little village, that's a big deal. So they're a little put put uh, put out or a little shocked at all of the gossip and the vitriol and the pettiness uh, that they hear about this other family in town. And they don't really know what to do with it, but they get caught up in it. And they are really, everyone wants to see them, wants to meet them. They are the new favorites in, in this little town. Uh, and now everything turns against them when one of the most eligible men in town uh, falls for one of the sisters. And at that point, uh, everything turns and they are kind of seen as pariahs. You know, how dare they come in and take the most eligible man? And his name is Dr. Hope, which uh, you can see all of their hopes were dashed when uh, these two young beauties came to town. Uh, one of them is really, really beautiful. The other is very um, uh, studious and very kind and good hearted. Uh, the other is a little more tempestuous, the beauty. And, and they, but they're very close. Uh, with this marriage, uh, it sets off a chain of events where the town and especially one one woman in this town uh, of a, an important family really becomes vindictive and turns all her vitriol on ensuring that this family gets no happiness, that Dr. Hope and his wife uh, get nothing and, and she ruins them. I thought that, you know, as a Victorian novel, it was fantastic. And, you know, the pace and the, the plot and how we learn about these these young women and then see all of the things that they endure in this in this town uh, was and how they they come together and are supported and support each other it's just lovely so highly recommended and i hope more people pick it up maybe for victober next year the next book I picked up was uh, another Bronte, and I hadn't read this one. This is The Tenant of Wild Fell Hall, and this is by Anne Bronte. Now, I think that this may be the most mature of the Bronte sisters' uh, books out there. Uh, this one is a sec is comes close to Jane Eyre. I think Jane Eyre will always have my heart because of when I read it and just the the nature of Jane as a character. But this feels more mature, a little more adult. Most of this is told by Mr. Markham. And he is someone who uh, is an eligible young bachelor who uh, 
uh, is kind of taken with the new tenant of Wildfell Hall. And she is an artist by the name of Helen Graham. And she has moved in with her young son. She's a, a new widow and trying to establish herself, but she really has very strong boundaries, doesn't really spend a lot of time in society, and he is entranced by her. And she has a secret, uh, a secret that comes out very early on, and that is that she is hiding from a husband that's not dead, but actually alive. Uh, themes of this book are alcoholism and the marriage vows and what people owe to each other, whether you're married or not. Faithfulness, faithfulness in, in a number of different fashions. Uh, this was really good. Um, there are some problems with it. Uh, I think Mr. Markham is a little too, uh, he just replicates in a nicer way some of the same behaviors that, that poor, poor Helen Graham has had to deal with her entire life. Uh, but it is a Victorian novel, so you can't expect everything to be um, modern in that way. But this was really, really good. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that I read it. So that was the English novels, uh, English classics. Now let's talk about the French classics. Uh, Leo and I started the Rougon Macas series by Emile Zola. And this series is absolutely outstanding. Uh, we have read so far uh, The Conquest of Plaisant, The Fortune of the Rougon, The Kill, um, his Excellency Eugène Rungon, The Belly of Paris, and The Sin of Abbe Mouret. Uh, I, I am absolutely 100% in love with Zola. I, he is so modern. He is so adept at creating these sweeping vistas and these very specific scenes. His characters are amazing. He's writing in a realistic style, in, in uh, French realism. And he's telling the story in this series of a family, an entire family. Uh, it is astounding to think that these novels are written at the same time of like Trollope and Dickens, the Victorian time. And you would think that this is modern day, except for some of the politics and some of the names uh, that you hear uh, that are that are mentioned, you know, Napoleon and <laughs> and um, and the like. It is it is so vivid. It is so beautiful. The writing is exquisite. I am so thrilled that there are 20 of them in total. Uh, and we are I think right now we're on number I can't remember what number we're on. Um, I think number eight, but it's, I, I cannot possibly um, say enough good things about this series and I hope more people jump on board. And then the last book, this is kind of the American uh, contribution to the classics. This is Henry James, Portrait of a Lady. Leo and I read this together and this was outstanding. We have Isabel Archer, and she is a young woman of money who is uh, taking a tour of Europe and uh, meets a bad, a bad man, a bad boy, uh, someone who, who is giving this illusion of being super um, uh, cool and, and uh, very cosmopolitan and, and all of that, but really he's just a cruel man, and she falls she falls for for him and falls into his his uh, his path and to dangerous consequences, and so it's very much this cat and mouse uh, game. Even when she is uh, finally married to him, and all the ways that he uh, tries to take her down. Uh, it's a great novel, uh, really thoughtfully done. Um, it's very slow, uh, very character driven, uh, but loved it very much and was very happy to have read this with Leo as well. So that's the short and sweet uh, classics edition. I would love to know, have you read any of these classics and what were your thoughts? Um, please let me know. And uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. I still have, uh, let's see, translated translated fiction, historical and mysteries to, to, uh, to share. 
Uh, that's it for now. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.